Good afternoon, everyone. It is the 11th of July, 2024. Um, should have a very specific update today for my cruise control or speed control, as Lincoln referred to it in 1967. Um, I'm anxiously awaiting the arrival today of my rebuilt cruise control servo from George uh, in Florida. Uh, I forgot his last name. Borelli, I think it is. Anyway, sorry. Um, so I'm just going to remove the, uh, the dummy one that's in here right now, the one that doesn't work, and uh, just set it aside. And uh, as soon as that unit arrives, it'll probably be a couple more hours before the postal lady gets here. I'll install it, and we'll go for a test drive. And this time, second attempt, hopefully it'll work. Really nothing else going on. Just the cruise control right now I'm working on. Hello again. Um, I, while I was waiting for my cruise control servo to show up, which it just got here, by the way, I was uh, doing a little research on air conditioning. Even though I said I'm done with the system, I'm not convinced it's cooling as much as it should, even at speed, with good airflow. So I found this channel called Nuts and Bolts Auto. Actually, the guy found me. He subscribed to my channel, so I subscribed back to his. And what a wealth of knowledge uh, is available on that channel. I watched a video today about um, how to uh, quickly charge your system, which it only works if you've already got somewhat of a charge on it. It's not meant for uh, one that's completely discharged because I'm learning that if it is, like mine used to be, it first has to be vacuumed out to uh, remove any moisture. And he highly recommends, of course, a full set of gauges. But he did demonstrate uh, the use of this type of gauge on how to do it. And I learned uh, that there's a table. He, he flashed it up a couple times. It talks about um, these uh, readings here and whatnot and how, it, how they vary depending on the ambient temperature and whatnot. So, for instance, ambient temperature of 80 degrees, your reading should be about 40 to 45 on this gauge if you're fully charged, which I thought was uh, very useful information to have. So I'm learning as I go. I've uh, also done this before where I will check my pressure without actually having a, a fill can attached just to see what things are looking like. So I'm, later on I'm going to uh, attach this to the low side. That's where, where you fill from is the low side I'm learning, which I guess I already knew that because you can only put it on one port. It only fits on one port and that's intentional of course. I'm just curious to see what the reading is showing me uh, and if it shows that it's lower than it should be then I'll go buy a can and put some more uh, R134A in it. But in the meantime, I got my servo back from George Borelli. So uh, I'm very excited to install it. Very, very quick process to put it in. And then we'll take it for a test drive and uh, hopefully it'll work this time. All right, it only took about two minutes, but the uh, unit is now installed. My connections are made. Speedometer cables are hooked in. Vacuum hoses are hooked in. That's all it takes. So I'm gonna clean up a little bit out here and we'll take her for a spin. All right, sitting in the car, I just uh, got gas for it. She was empty, so put some uh, fuel treatment in there. And now we're gonna see what happens. So now she started, unit is on, and here we go. Get on the road here. Oh. 
Alright, I'm back home. Uh, my initial test drive with his speed control. Uh, the basic functions work. It does hold speed, although it drops about 4 miles per hour when I let my foot off the accelerator pedal when I've uh, set it. Uh, I don't know if that's something that I can adjust. I don't know if maybe my vacuum bellows under the hood needs to be replaced. Maybe it's leaking a little bit. Not sure. Um, and it cancels when I step on the brake pedal. That's very important. So those two basic functions I consider myself to have a working cruise control. The only thing that doesn't work, when I press on the button, it doesn't accelerate. In fact, it decelerates. I can press the button in any position, all the way in or a little bit in, and it, it drops the speed another four or five miles per hour as if I had just set it initially uh, for the first time. So I don't think that's the switch itself on my uh, turn signal stock because it does engage the unit. It just doesn't accelerate. So I'll ask George about that, see if he has any ideas. But but I'm, I'm pretty excited, you know, it does work, so that's pretty cool. So while I have it at the forefront of my memory, too, I'm going to put that, uh, that gauge on the air conditioning system. I'm real curious to see what it's reading right now. Ambient temperature is probably in the upper 80s, mid 80s, something like that. So we'll see what kind of reading we get on that gauge. All right, with the, uh, the car at rest, I've got my uh, hose connected there. You can see the reading right now with the car not running. So I'm going to start it up. With max AC and uh, see what the reading does. Okay, that tells me that I am low on charge, just like it says in the gauge. So I'm going to go uh, buy myself a, a can of R134A and see if I can uh, squeeze some more in there. That would explain why it doesn't seem to cool as much as I think it should. If I'm seeing what I think I'm seeing, 